everybody. In the last class, we learned how to create a best wishes card. One of the events to use a best wishes card is a birthday party. Today, we are going to learn how to organize a birthday party. Now, let's see this video. First, we need to recognize the differences between need and want. Need is something you must have to survive. And want is something that is nice to have. We need food, clothing or shelter. But we want pizza, tablets or candies. We all need things. We need food, water, and air. We need a home and clothing, too. We all want things. We want things that make us happy. We want things that are fun. Erin needs water to drink. She wants a glass of lemonade. Jacob needs food to eat. He wants pasta for dinner. Erin needs a warm coat for the winter. She wants a long red coat. Jacob needs air to breathe. He wants some wind to fly his kite. Erin needs to stay safe from the storm. She wants to go under her bed. Jacob needs a way to get to school. He wants a new bike. Erin needs to read a book for school. She wants to read a funny book. What kinds of things do you want? Do you really need those things? To organize a birthday party, we are going to work with the whole family because we need some help. If I want someone else to do something, I will use the words you, her, him, us, or them. For example, I want my brother to bring sodas, or I want him to bring sodas. I need Patty to organize the party, or 
I need her to organize the party. I want Pam and Joe to buy balloons or I want them to buy balloons. We can use messages to require the participation of another person. Don't forget to include the sender, the receiver, and of course, the message. The person who is expressing desires is the sender. And the person who is going to read the message or note is the receiver. We send messages in different ways. For example, Yay! Now you're ready to organize a birthday party. I want you to receive a lot of best wishes cards. See you soon!